Okay, okay, so below the belt TV, we're pleasured and honoured to be joined by Dillian White today. Um, you just done a lot of sparring, like, you kind of in fight camp? Or yeah, 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 I'm fighting in um, three weeks, I think, um, October 28th, so just, I don't know who I'm fighting yet, so boxing different guys, getting different rounds in working and stuff. Working a lot of defence and kind of in the slipping shots and um, getting off, so yeah, no. Good man, you got some good boys up and coming, tall range of boys. Yeah. You know, with lots of heart and good boxing ability. And they like them, they, they, they're cruiserweights, so they're a little bit quicker than me, so mm. I had to change it up a bit, you know what I mean? Cruiserweights are about 10, 20% faster than heavyweights, so it's True. good for me, you know? Keep you sharp, and I guess yeah. it's an interesting situation because, like you said, you don't know who you're fighting, so you don't want to necessarily no, just really fight not. a particular style, you want to just keep it. Kind of yeah, fluid. yeah, you know, last week I boxed a, a soft poor, a, a, a guy at 5'11", a guy that's 6'4", and a guy that's 6'6", six, six, you know. <laughs> but it's a bit of a joke, to be honest, but it is what it is, man, you know. Yeah. I'm close to the world title, so I just got to stay busy and keep chipping away, you know. Yeah, absolutely. You're like basically one of the biggest names in the heavyweight division. There's a lot of, there's a lot going on in the heavyweight division. Like, obviously, you just had Parker fight, um, Huey Fury, not too long ago. One of the worst heavyweight fights I've ever seen. <laughs> Did, what, what, what was it? That was just your. What, what yeah, made you, you think you, it was terrible? You would box well, mm. but it's terrible because he only just jab and move, and Parker couldn't track him down or cut him off. Or I made him engage. Parker just followed him around and just followed him around. Parker couldn't cut the ring. Parker could have made it what he needed to make it. You know, you you that stopped his game plan. But it was boring. Mm. It's a heavyweight fight. I wouldn't want to see two heavyweight um, plod around the ring and just jab and move. I want to see. Action, you know. Yeah, yeah. But you stuck to his game plan. It's the same game plan Tyson Fury used to beat Vladimir, but only the difference is Tyson actually took the fight to Vladimir and stood and mixed it with Vladimir. So Tyson yeah. had the awkward move, but he, he took it to Vladimir, and that's what that's what you didn't do. I guess you think it's maybe more of like a lack of experience on Huey's part than not to take advantage. If you have 20 fights and, and over 50, 60 amateur fights, what's lack of experience there? I've had 30. 29, 30 fights, amateur and pro. We want to talk about lack of experience. I've been boxing for eight years. Yeah. But I've been thrown in with uh, the best fighters in the world. I learn every day in the job. People are forgetting. I've had seven amateur fights and 22 professional um, fight, you know. That's that, that's what you call lack of experience. I, yeah, I never yeah. start boxing when I was 10, 9, 8. No, I started boxing when I was 20. Or 21. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. you know, and then I go from all right, like I said, under 30 fights, the fighting guys had over 150 fights. Mm -hmm. Amateur, 120 fights, 130 fights. You know, guys that's had 30 professional fights, fight the best in the world. You know what? Um, so that's what you call a lot of experience. But I don't make no excuse. I just get on with it. I do what I gotta do. I don't moan and cry about stuff. You yeah, know? I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not moaning. Yeah. I do it. You, you, you got you got a lot of um, options in front of you because. You got either the possibility of, I don't know, taking on Wilder, like you got this whole situation with Wilder and Ortiz failing the drug test. You reckon you might be able to get that what, slot? Wilder don't want no work. He doesn't want no work. He don't, he don't want no work. Dangerous fight, a big right hand, but he knows when I come, I come to test chin and head and body and shoulder and yeah. everything. Anywhere I hit you, I'm looking to break something, you know, and I'm you know, feeling good and getting stronger, better conditioned physically, mentally. My shoulder is feeling good, so mm. these guys ain't stupid. Well, let's well one sees the fight raising money because we're paying him three times, three and a half times the amount of money he's making to fight RTs. Yeah. He says I'm an easier fight than RTs, so why why don't he come and pick up the easy money? See, that's the thing I've noticed. You call a lot of fighters out on social media, and they don't really seem to respond. What's what's going on? Listen, your no one ain't gonna give you anything in life. You know, what I mean, I come from nothing. I'm a Brixton boy. I was born in Jamaica, grew up in Jamaica, moved to Brixton when I was. In my teens, you know what I mean. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, like I said, I've I've had no great media background, no great amateur experience, no great this and the other. I made everything myself. I figure out early, no one at Nagi nothing. So you gotta do what you gotta do, and that's what I've done. You know what I mean? I've I, I, I've said I'm gonna do this, do that, and I've backed it up. You know, um, I back it up. You know, injured or not, ready or not, I get in there and I fight. And one thing you can guarantee is, whenever I get in the ring, I will leave it all in there. If it comes down to the wire and it's like, ah. Uh, it's a close set, you need to leave it in the ring, I will leave it in there, yeah. guaranteed. I think there's only one fighter that I've heard like flat out say, yeah, he would like to take you on. Big Baby Miller. Miller but they always talk about you'd have to go to the States and... Miller, is all talk. Miller can't sell out a 5,000 arena in, in America and he, in his hometown. I can sell out 20,000 plus at O2. Yeah. You know, yeah. there's no money. Listen, at the end of the day, I'm in this 
to pay my bills, to look after my family and to secure their future. You know, so I want all these fights. I want yeah. all these fights. I've been trying to get all these fights. I never said no. I called Miller up first of all, Miller said he wanted to fight me. Go back right. and look. I've been calling Miller up from a long time ago, but Miller just starts crap. He doesn't want, he, he don't want to, you know, a lot of these guys just, just talk. They don't want, they don't want real work. Yeah. Talking is easy. But you know, I talk the walk and I and I, and I talk the talk and I walk, I walk the walk as well. You know, win, lose, or draw. Whatever fight I'm involved in, it's going to be a dust up. There's something I heard as well, I wouldn't mind getting your take on it, that after the Huey Joseph Parker fight, Parker's values dropped. Is that still, will Matchroom still chase that fight for you to get you in with Parker? It's a real type of fight, we'll chase it, but Parker to be realistic and understand that, you know, he's, he's not what you think he is. He's not what you think. Maybe in New Zealand, with a small population of people, he's something big. It's, it's easy to be a big fish in a small pond. But you know, this is this is the rest of the world. You know, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's, it, to be a big fish in a big pond, it's, it's a whole different story because there's yeah. always bigger fish than you out there. Yeah, yeah. You know, and there's real predators out there, real great whites out there. You know, waiting to 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 to, to, to scoop you up. Parker, Parker don't want to get eaten. <laughs>